Hello everyone, Edwin here from Resolutions Design again for another video. Uh, this video that I'm recording right now is how to connect your Google Analytics. Why is Google Analytics even so important if I have analytics in Shopify? Well, because Google, first of all, it's free, okay? Google knows everything, 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 everything. And especially if you're gonna hand, be handling like with marketing and SEO and Google Analytics is just a very powerful beast. Like, it's so underrated. Um, we use it a lot, especially when it comes to marketing. You get to see the numbers very clearly, and Google tells the truth. There's nothing more real than Google Analytics. Uh, Shopify gives you more sales analytics, but Google, they say everything. So that being said, let's get right to it. Uh, before we start, actually, if you're new to the channel, my name is Edwin Anthony. I'm the owner of Resolutions Design, one of the top leading Shopify experts agency. Uh, purpose of creating this video is so that you don't have to hire somebody in order, for, you know, so you could just do this yourself. So if you appreciate that type of stuff, all I ask is for a like button. Just smash it blue, smash it hard, blue, 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 blue. And, um, Subscribe, subscribe so that you could be part of our team here. Okay, let's get right to it. So one of the first things that I recommend is having a Gmail. So I'm not saying like your personal Gmail. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about like, you know, <laughs> drip flavor 159. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, you know, if you have a business. So let's say, for example, in this case, we're using my coffee shop. Okay. Um, Create yourself a Gmail that kind of mentions that. You know, I, I misspelled coffee shop, as you can see right here, you know, because I'm crazy like that. But what I'm saying is get yourself a Gmail for the business, you know, something basic. Unless, of course, you have like some type of um, other type of inbox. Regardless, you need a Gmail. Even if you have like an info at so and so from a domain of GoDaddy or something of the sort, just get a Gmail for the business. It's for a reason. And more importantly, is for Google Analytics, especially if you're going to do Google Console and all that other stuff. So get yourself a Gmail. You definitely need it for the business, okay? Once you set that Gmail up, we're going to go right here to where it says Google Analytics, okay? And you're going to say start for free. And then starting for free, let's see where we go, okay? So let's say set up for free. Right here on this upper, hand can uh, upper corner, you click on that in case if you're logged in as the super drip 159 at gmail.com make sure that this right here this icon is showing the gmail address for the business that's the first thing okay the next thing that you do is that you click on where it says set up for free okay and then right here you say the business name my coffee shop okay products and services yeah whatevs you could go ahead and leave that there let's press next and what we're trying to measure is the web. We're, we're going to go right here and measure the web. Leave that there and press next. Website name. Here we go again. My coffee shop. The URL. We're going to click on this right here and we're going to say that it's an HTTPS, right? And then we go right here into this and we're going to just highlight all of this stuff right here and press copy. Go back to Google Analytics and press paste clean this out because we don't need repetition and clean that last tail out right there you could do that right there and it doesn't have to be like the actual domain uh, this is perfectly fine so right here what industry are we in um, we're selling you know cups and all that stuff so we are in the internet retail let's see if we have something here retail okay shopping that's that's what we're all about we're in the shopping industry if you're selling e-commerce and then for um time zone we're eastern you could put whatever you want there um hopefully wherever you guys are really at and then go ahead and press create once you do that you're gonna have these terms right here so just click on these check boxes and say accept those are just some terminologies there and we're going to uncheck all of this. This is this is spam stuff. We don't need any of that. Save, okay? And we say, all right, yeah, got it. No thanks. Here's our tracking code. So we're gonna grab this right here on this sample here. You're gonna just hover over this tracking code and press copy. And we're gonna go into our Shopify. 
now that we're in Shopify, what we're going to do is if you're like, let's say over here at home, you click on where it says online store and then you click on where it says preferences. All right. You scroll down just a bit and you're going to go right here. Google Analytics. Right click, paste that code right there and press save. We are not done yet. Once you do that, enhance e-commerce. Click on this right there and press save. We're not done yet. That's part of it. Okay, so we've done all that there. Let's go ahead and back out and we are in this setting here. So just almost a little quick tutorial. If you are here in this page right there, um, is it tracking at this moment? Yes, it is, but it's partial tracking. There are still some settings that we have to do in order to get this running the right way. Let me dismiss this box right here. I'm going to go into the admin right here on the bottom left. And what we're going to do is that we're going to go here where it says e-commerce settings. You remember how we checked that box in Shopify? We need to check one here as well. So right here, we're going to enable this and the reporting and press save. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. And then from there, that's when the settings is pretty much good to go. Okay. Um, there's again, like I said, this is a beast. This, this here, it's amazing. Google analytics. I would make another video in order to show you the real power of Google analytics. Okay. In fact, let, let me just do that now. Why make a separate video? Let me just get to it right now. Let me show you some examples here real quick. All right, we're back. So here are some statistics um, where it's showing us live feedback right now. There's eight people into the website as we speak. But what are the real important numbers that I like to take a look at? You can look at real time and see kind of like an overview as far as, you know, in real time, where are people coming from right now? And you could tell that there's definitely a lot of people from the mobile versus desktop versus tablets. Uh, this again, this lets you know a lot. But the one that I like to visit to the most has to do with acquisition, acquisition, all traffic and channels. So from here, what I like to do is that I like to look at, let's say, if I go over here to date range, I like to go to where it says the last 30 days. I want to see data from the last 30 days to see how the business is flowing when it comes to visitations and all that good stuff. And then I like to go down here and I like to say, OK, so what's going on here? Uh, these people are coming from social, direct, paid search, organic search, you know, organic search is SEO. And then based off of that alone, what is my conversion rates? You know, based on all these people coming in from social media, I got 28,000 people coming in from social media. And out of these 28,000 people, they are converting at a 0.73%, which equates to $84,000 in one month. Whereas on SEO, it's only 4,000 people and they are converting at a 2.50% it equates to $73,000. So I have to ask myself, hmm, if it takes 28,000 people to give me $84,000, but only 4,000 people on SEO to give me $73,000, where should I put my chips on? Leave that answer in the comments. Let me ask that question again. If you're paying money on social media, you're having a marketing agency telling you, Hey, listen, pay us this amount of dollars a month and we'll get tons of traffic a month, right? And out of all of that traffic, okay, only 0.73 people, 0.73% uh, of the people are actually buying, right? And they're giving you a lot of money, right? But, but you got this SEO, which you're barely paying for. You just got natural SEO, right? They're, they're not barely giving you any money, but you're getting 4,000 people. And they're converting at a 2.50. You as a business owner, what would you say? You would say, hey, I don't need social media marketing because you know what? Let me take my chips from social media marketing and invest it on SEO. Let me invest it on SEO because if I were to get 28,000 people into SEO at a 2.50% conversion, this number is going to look outrageous. Know what I mean? But how would you know that unless you have Google Analytics? That's the reason for this video, guys. 
Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about Google Analytics. What is, it, you know, let me know if you guys have used it. Let me know if you guys have ever even heard of it before. Let me know what type of videos you guys want me to do so that I can answer those questions. But Google Analytics is extremely critical for you going online. Once you actually start selling, once you actually start putting your marketing dollars on your website, where are these people going and how they're converting and where should I double my chips on? Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hit that smash and like button. Until next time.